Hello golfers, PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb, director of instruction for US Golf TV and the Todd Kolb Golf Academy. Today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects and that is putting, because who doesn't want to make more putts, right? Drive for show, but you putt for dough. So here's what we're going to do today. First and foremost, I'm going to share with you the one key skill, the most important skill that you have to master in order to be a good putter. I'm also going to break down for you some of the basic concepts that you need to have in place in order to develop that skill. And last but not least, towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you three simple drills that you can do at home or at the golf course to help you master that one skill, that one skill that is most important to being a good putter. Now, before we dive into that, here's what I want to tell you. All the information I'm going to give you is based on data, data-driven information that we collect using our system. Now, we use the Quintic putting system. Now, why do I use that? Because their group there, Paul and their group at Quintic, have been doing putting for years. And so the information I'm going to share with you is it's all data-driven. It's information that's actually happening. These are not opinions. So these are the finer details of what's taking place when you're rolling the ball, when you're rolling the rock the way that you want to. But we want to keep it simple. So let's dive into this a little bit and help you understand. So first of all, I'm going to assume that you've got a pretty good setup. You're, you understand how to hold the putter. You basically understand how to, how to position your body. Now, if you don't feel that's the case, if you think that maybe that's an area that you're struggling on, We've got a couple of videos on that. We've got one great video that dives specifically into how to set your body in order to make a good motion or a good putty motion. So be sure to check that out. So that's number one. I'm going to assume that you kind of have that in place. Now, the next thing that's important is making good contact with the golf ball. I mean, that sounds kind of like, yeah, we know that, Todd. We have to make good contact. But what I want you to understand about this in terms of this particular thing, contact, is, is that when you hit the ball on the toe, the putter will tend to open up and you might miss putts to the right. When you hit putts on the heel, you'll tend to miss putts to the left. Now the reason I'm pointing that out is because that is the opposite of what happens when you make a full swing. When you hit, a, when you hit like a driver and you hit the ball on the toe, the ball tends to hook a little bit. So it's important to know that you got to hit the ball in the center of the face. And we'll do other videos on how you develop that particular skill. But like I said earlier, this video is about the one skill that we're going to talk about here in just a second that you need to be able to master to be a good putter. So we got to have a good setup. we got to hit the ball in the center of the face. The other skill that a lot of golfers work on is the path, the shape of, of how the putter swings through. Now, there's different styles. Some are straight back, some are straight, you know, straight back, straight through. Some have more of an arc. That's kind of a personal preference. My one key suggestion on that is to make sure that you have a putter that matches the stroke that you want. So if you want a straight back, straight through motion, you should have a face balance putter. If you want to have a little bit of an arc, you should have a putter that has a little bit of a toe hang. And so if those things don't make sense to you, you can look up some information. There's a lot of great information on our website or other places that can help you understand that. So we've got a good setup. We're hopefully hitting the ball in the center of the face. We've got some good path to it. The next thing we have to be able to do is we have to be able to launch the putter excuse me, launch the ball at the right angle. So if you struggle with distance control, okay, not rolling the ball the right distance, it could be because you're launching the ball too high. Now, what is the optimum launch angle? It's gonna vary a little bit based on the type of greens that you play, but around one degree is a good general area that you wanna be around. So that's the next thing, one of the other things that you have to have in place, like I said earlier. One of the things that is really key to good putting is what I like to call the rhythm or at our academy what we call the cadence of the stroke. Does the stroke have a consistent rhythm to it? Now, some people's motion is pretty quick, some is a little longer and slower. What's important there to understand is that it has to have some symmetry, it has to have balance to it. So what I want you to take away from this part of it here is that the putter should be gliding into the ball. Now I didn't say it should slow down or it should accelerate, but it should be gliding into the ball. So it has a consistent pace, like just like a car going down the road. If the car is going 50 miles an hour, it stays at 50 miles an hour. It doesn't, you don't want the putter to go from 30 to 50, nor do you want the, the putter to go from 50 to 30. You want it to be a consistent pace through there. So those are just some basic things. Like I said, we're going to develop more videos that dive deep into those particular skills. We've already done one on the setup, like I sure said earlier. Be sure to check that out. If you feel like your setup is off, contact, understand where you hit the ball in the face, how that can impact the path, 
okay, also the launch angle and the rhythm. But the one key thing that, we're gonna, that I really want to talk about today, the king of the hill when it comes to putting is face control. Face angle at impact. That is the most important thing that you have to master in order to be a good putter. Now, what's the standard for good face control and how can we actually check that? Well, what I'm gonna say is this. For, for a, a good golfer, let's say somebody who's shooting mid 70s to maybe mid 80s, they should be striving to have deliver a face relative to the target that's, that's no more than one degree off. No more than one degree closed, or one degree open. Now the reason I like one degree is because you can make a lot of putts upwards of seven or eight feet, give or take a little bit, if you have a good read and good speed, even if your face is off about one degree. All right, once you start getting beyond one degree, if your face is two degrees off, you're gonna start missing a lot of putts at five, six feet, seven feet. Now, those are key putts because those are typically the second putt on maybe a long one, or also if you hit a chip shot, all right, and you get a good chip shot, that's kind of the cleanup one to make the par. So one degree is a good standard. For a tour professional, for the tour pros that I work with on a regular basis, we're striving for half a degree. That is the gold standard. Now, do we get there every time? Probably not, but that's what we're striving for, is half a degree, because at a half a degree, we're making putts from seven, eight, nine feet on a regular basis, and that's a key component, as everybody here knows, to playing good golf. So how are we gonna practice that? All right, Todd, how are you gonna practice that? That's kind of probably what you're asking yourself at this particular one. So I've got three drills, three great drills that we're gonna do. Now, the first one is a laser drill. Now, what, I'm gonna, what we use here at the Academy is a high-tech laser. I mean, this is a $100 laser, but if you're really into golf and you're really into like, you wanna improve your putting and you want a laser that works outside, we use this laser from Wright Putting Dynamics and it is awesome. <laughs> I mean, it is fantastic. And what you can do with that, obviously, is you find a straight putt, you line it up, it helps you make sure your putter face is nice and square at address, which is huge. That is a huge component, all right? Most people don't even get their putter face square at address, and then you can see if the ball rolls right down the line, which tells you if the putter face is square, because the ball is starting based on where the face is pointing. So that's the first thing. Now, if you don't wanna spend $100, uh, but you wanna practice at home, or maybe even on a cloudy day, you can just pick up a laser at your, uh, at your local hardware store. We have one here at the Academy from Black & Decker. It's just a standard one, works fantastic. We've, we've used it in other videos that we've done. Works great, probably 10, 12 bucks and you can do that. So that's the one first drill that you can do is just simply using a laser. The second one uh, that you can use is a ruler, okay? Now, we use actually the putting stick. This is, this is the, uh, something that we got a few years ago. We, you can use it inside or outside, works fantastic because it's not very wide. <laughs> you know, it's about an inch wide, all right? And if, you can, if our students can roll the ball down this stick right here, they've got good face control. And it's pretty challenging at first. They can get a little frustrated, but it's great feedback. Now, if you don't wanna buy one of these, once again, you go to your local hardware store, you can just buy a standard ruler. Now, the, this, this one here is one inch. I would not go any narrower than that at all. Maybe even a little bit wider for the average golfer is probably pretty good. It's something you can do at home, works simple and easy to use. So that's the second drill that you can do to help you with that key component, face control. The third one and the final one is just simply using uh, a gate. So uh, we like to use here, because we're big fans of Quintic, so Paul and his group over there, we've got these gates here, and, and he has ones for different, uh, they're different sizes. So this is the two, and then there's a one, there's a zero, which gives you less margin for error and things like that. So we use these, and all we're trying to do with our students is get them to roll the ball through the gate. Now, if you're gonna use a gate, something like this, or the other things you can do is you could just simply use golf tees. All right, we use golf tees as well. Now the distance that you want those tees to be apart is roughly about the width of, of a putter head. Okay, now give and take a little bit, different styles of putters obviously have, but that's gonna get you pretty close. If you just take the width of the putter head, put a tee on both sides, or even just put two golf balls side by side, that works pretty well also. Now when you do that, whether using the gate or the tees, be sure that, the, that you place the ball no more than one putter width away from that gate. Because if you start getting too far away, it's really, really difficult. So you want the ball to be placed roughly about you know, the length of a putter or, or a little bit less. So here's what I hope you got out of this video. Because at this point, if you're still watching, you're obviously serious about playing better golf. And, and we've got some great information. Hopefully you've already subscribed to our channel 
or you've, you've checked out a lot of our videos because we want to hear comments from you. We love hearing from people. I mean, the comments we get help us determine what we're going to do in terms of developing uh, content moving forward. So here's what you want to take away. There's a lot of components that you need to be able to have in place to be a good putter. We're going to dive into every one of those at some point. But the first one is the setup. We've talked a little bit about that. You've got to have center of contact, just a little bit of information on toe versus heel, a little bit about path. Make sure you buy a putter that matches up with your style. We talk a little bit about launch. If you're struggling with your distance control, I'm thinking launch and maybe I'm adding some loft to my putter. You start thinking there, where can I go find some information on that? The rhythm, think of the car going down the road. You want it going at a nice, smooth, consistent pace. You don't want it accelerating, but you also don't want it decelerating. You want a nice, consistent pace. But the key component that we've talked about here today is face control, one degree. One degree, if you can get to one degree, you're gonna see a lot of putts go in. If you're a smiring touring professional or a top level amateur or college player, you wanna be striving for about half a degree. So hopefully this information helps. As always, be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment below. Whether you agree or disagree, we wanna hear from you. And at the end of the day, we simply wanna help you play better golf. That's pretty good, huh? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> forward in the stance. Gonna start raining? Yeah. I mean, technically it went in. That's one way to make it. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to see a nice long high draw.